Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. Rest of today's video, the beer's courtesy of Rodrigo. Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate it. You know how much I appreciate this. So it's a collab. It's Fidens and Troon. It's called Alex's Axe. It's a triple IPA, and it has Nelson Strata, Picharine. Pichur, I assume that's how you pronounce it. This is the first beer I've had using that hop. Right? Yeah. And Galaxy. 10% uh, ABV, if I didn't say that. And uh, I think it was a month and a half. Yeah, it's a month and a half at time of review, which for a triple IPA, I am definitely totally fine with. So yeah, really excited. I have not had any Troon before. I've had a lot of Hop... Or um, a Butcher. I had a lot of Fidens. I have had a lot of Hop Butcher too. A lot of Fidens. Man, look how thick that is. Oh my God. It's in half proper glassware. The label makes me think of the uh, the punk band um, Mast Intruder, <laughs> which is rad. All right, so yeah, I mean that is that's your butternut squash soup, you know, like that's that's so thick that yeah, it's an orange color. But and you know what's interesting, probably because it is so thick, the way the lighting is, you probably see more orange than I do. It is have the light is having a hard time coming through that beer. Uh, I don't know, quarter finger ahead, probably more if I you know poured it more aggressively uh bone white i would say tiny bubbles but it definitely looks like a big new england style ipa i'm not surprised it's a triple ipa let's get into the aroma you know what's nice about this is it's such a, a man it's such a nice mix of things i get big fruit notes um you know some mango, orange, actually a couple different kinds of citrus, a little bit of that, like that lemonade thing I sometimes get from Strata. Then you get that white wine thing, which I love. So it's just, it's like adding complexity. Uh, you know, it doesn't smell like sangria, but like these things do work well together, you know, fruit, wine. Man. Really ripe peach, which I'm, I mean, I can get that. From other hops, but maybe this is from the that Picharin. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna go back a little bit. It does kind of smell like sangria, but every time I have sangria, it's with red wine. Almost like you made like a, a tropical uh, fruit salad, mostly tropical fruit, and then you used a white wine. That's kind of what this smells like. It's fantastic. Let's see about the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Rodrigo. Hope you're doing well. Nice mouthfeel. It's got the sweet fruit stuff, ripe fruit, even maybe some candied fruit. But it's got that bitterness. Completely hides the alcohol. Um, you know, breweries are getting better at these triple IPAs, but if you haven't watched a lot of my triple IPA videos, for this style, like big boozy, you know, barley wine, stouts, I like a little bit of alcohol taste. Not in hoppy beers, not in triple IPAs. Uh, but again, breweries are getting better at, at you know, masking that uh, alcohol, you know, with these 10%-ish kind of triple IPAs. No alcohol detected whatsoever, which is just so wild. Like peach smoothie, some mango in there, that pink lemonade, citric acid, Little bit of orange. The aftertaste, I get some nice grapefruit. Little dank, like weed specifically, dank quality as well. Man, that bitterness, I love. Man, I love that bitterness. Man, I do, wow. Cause yeah, it hits, like you start the sip, right? And it's just, the body is stupid. Then, yeah, I get some of the fruit. And then that white wine thing comes through, which I just, I love that so much. Man. But then, kind of around when the white wine, like, dryness, or, like, the perception of dry white wine, at least, then the bitterness hits in, you know, or kicks in, I should say. Man. Sorry, there's like a little bug on the wall and it's like taking my focus away. A little bit more grapefruit 
in the taste, not just the aftertaste. It plays nicely with that bitterness, a little pithy. Man, I just, I could just keep sipping this and describing things. Yeah, I'm actually getting more grapefruit than orange at this point in terms of citrus. But yeah, that pink lemonade weed dank thing, love it. Love it. Love the level it's in this. Relatively dry finish. The alcohol, help, actually pretty dry. Not bone dry, but pretty dry. And that alcohol, without tasting it, I think is really helping the drying. Man, this is nice. It, you know, I, I, a lot of people have this conversation, have had this conversation besides me. If you're going to make a triple IPA, it's got to have more flavor. Or otherwise, like, why are you not just making like a double IPA, right? Um, this, I think, is elevated a little bit, which I really appreciate. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. Some nice, like, hop particulates kind of still staying on my palate, on my tongue. Yeah, that long finish that way, which is nice. Yeah, this beer, I really like this beer a lot. Rodrigo, thank you so much, man. Seriously, I, I, I missed out on it, and uh, I was uh, they were going to do that, a different you know collab with Troon, and I was probably going to be able to make that release. I mean, I think they ended up uh, dumping the batch because like something went wrong, and uh, I mean, I really respect them for that. Like They're like, yeah, it's not up to our standards. But uh, So I was really excited to be able to try one of the Troon collabs, so seriously, man, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, have you guys had this beer before? Have you had this Picharin? How do you pronounce it? Hop? Uh, any of these hops, just the beer drinking right now you want to tell me about, anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both of those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.